third against the Carolina Hurricanes when Brad Stewart ties it up with a slap shot. In overtime, Tim Thomas keeps Boston's hopes alive with incredible goaltending. We go to a shootout. The Hurricanes scored first, but Brad Boyce comes back for the Bruins to notch it back up. Carolina, however, got the next goal and was the game winner 4-3. to three. Was the final score, Mike? Barbara, there is increasing anger and violence in the Muslim world over the caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. These cartoons were first published in a Danish newspaper. Islamic law forbids any depiction of the Prophet. And anger over the cartoons, there were 12 of them, has spread to embassies in Syria and Lebanon. And joining me this morning is Mohammed Mahmoud Uld Mohamedou of the Harvard School of Public Health. He's the Associate Director of the Harvard Program on Humanitarian Policy and Conflict Research. Mohammed, good morning. Good morning. Uh, how do you think um, Americans should view this, uh, the reaction, the violence, and the demonstrations? Because I think most Americans have a real hard time understanding why this sort of uh, level of reaction is justified. I think we should separate the reaction, first of all, from the, act, uh, the original act itself. The uh, cartoons were meant to be provocative and offensive, and, uh, and, and unfortunately they succeeded. Uh, besides the actual issue of depicting the prophet, there's the matter of the nature of the illustrations themselves, which uh, are quite offensive. In one of them, you see the prophet wearing a, tur a bomb rather than a turban. In another one, there is... Uh, devil horns. So I think the matter is not really one of political correctness. It's fundamentally about what's permissible towards the other, and uh, the other here being 1.3 billion Muslims around the world and their deep-held belief uh, spread over 57 countries. Um, I think fundamentally um, it's a matter of um, looking at how freedom of speech and freedom of religion should not collide. Uh, but freedom of speech, though rather wide, uh, has boundaries which are fundamentally responsibility, judgment, and uh, recognition that one should not uh, trespass beyond those. And I think that most Americans understand that uh, not trespassing on other people's sensibilities, um, but I think the problem is the, the reaction to that trespass, and I think that's the part where Americans really have a hard time when you start burning down embassies and you start having violence and economic boycotts over something like that. I mean, do you think that's justified? No, well, look, the issue is a variety of reactions. This, these are some people doing that. Most of the people that are affected by this feel insulted. Not all of them will take on the street and react this way. But we should recognize, as the authorities have done in this country, the State Department issued a statement on Thursday condemning the, the original uh, descriptions and uh, establishing a parallel with anti-Semitic uh, Semitic imagery and anti-Christian imagery. And you recall back in the uh, mid-'80s, I think, when uh, Martin Scorsese's picture, The Last Temptation of Christ, came out, there was a lot of uh, rather violent reactions to that in this country and in Europe, for that matter. And similarly, any time you have uh, action taking uh, that is meant to be provocative, uh, this is not, again, about freedom of speech. I don't think that any self-respecting, responsible editor would not, in this time and age, in the current context of conflict that has a subtext of religion and, and culture, unfortunately, uh, not take that into account in, 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 uh, in expressing those views. Uh, of course, the reactions uh, should not uh, be taken uh, uh, place in the manner that they are, uh, but this is what will happen when people will, uh, will uh, feel uh, threatened and, and uh, insulted. I think it will subside over a period of time, but in the, mat in the meantime, a lot of uh, harm will have been done. Why aren't more prominent people in Islam coming out and speaking out against the violence? Well, they have. As a matter of fact, they have a number very of... Very few, though, and the voices have been not very loud. Well, we've seen them. We've seen them on Al Jazeera. We've seen them on Al Arabiya. Uh, even a, a Hamas spokesman who had just been elected went out to visit a Christian church over the past couple of days to, to indicate that this is not about retaliation or about particular views. This is the responsible actions of one particular editor, which unfortunately were taken... Uh, on by other editors in Europe, a handful to, to be sure, but most media have not reprinted them uh, to make an ideological point. There's a reprinting which is warranted, which is to, to let your viewership and readership understand what the issue is about. But there is one to make a point when no one is questioning that freedom of expression. And I think this is when we should realize that uh, a number of, of Muslims around the world feel uh, tired of having their religion attacked all the time. And, and in this case, I think it was one too many. And, uh, and hopefully, this will subside, as I said. But uh, yeah. 
Mohammed Mahmoud Old Mahamadou of the Harvard School of Public Health. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Now, the New England Ford dealers weather on the one. Chilly start this morning, but by no means unbearably cold. Temperatures running in the 30s across most of New England to start out the day. 35 degrees in Boston, 3.